Welcome to this episode of Courageous Creativity, transforming your personal and professional life with indie life and relationship coach, Amy Barnes. Yes, you can have it all. A thriving business and great relationships. Some of you may be entrepreneurs, small business owners, you may be involved in a family business, or you may be part of a couplepreneur, couples who are in business together. No matter what, if you're in a small business, your relationships are also an important part of your business. You may be in a relationship with your friends, your cousins, your parents, or your children. And it's important to be able to maintain both those relationships and to maintain a thriving business. If you don't, the failure can both destroy you in your business and your friendships, and you wouldn't want that to happen. So now let's look at three important points that I've found that over the years seem to come up most when I deal with people who are involved in small businesses and their relationships. The first point is business versus personal time. I grew up as a child in a family business and our family reunions always were business talk and I hated it. I felt like I was going to the board meeting on Monday morning instead of to the family reunion. Even at Christmas time, all anybody talked about was business. I wish this is something that my family had learned early on to separate business and personal time. I encourage you to have time when you're only going to talk about business and also to have time when you're only going to talk about your relationships, your friendships. If you're a couple printer, it's very important. Otherwise, you'll lose the romance and you'll probably lose your relationship. So remember, separate personal time and business time. The second point is your roles, business versus personal roles. In your business, you may have you may be the manager or you may be an employee. So you may have some different levels of relationships. As an adult, we want our relationships to be equal. We're both on a level playing field. So this is another point to consider in your relationships. The third point I'd like you to consider, and we'll go into this in more of this depth later, is the conflict in your business versus your personal relationships. Keep business business. You don't want a people a group of yes people that are always going to agree with you but you want to make sure that that isn't taken personally so that the business conflict and the business disagreements don't get into and are involved in your personal life. Click on the link below and you can download more information and a short questionnaire about growing a business and strengthening your relationships. Thanks for listening. Thank you for watching this episode of Courageous Creativity with Amy Barnes. For more great information, visit Amy's website at www.courageous-creativity.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Indie Biz TV Shows.